Hey everybody, High Mileage Rider here. And if you want to know how I fixed the Goldwing turn signals, finally, and the horn, come on back. You know what? I think it's time for us to go for a ride. Welcome back everybody. So after weeks of using a meter to test the wires going to the turn signals to try and find out if there was a short somewhere or a break somewhere, I discovered that I am not talented enough to be doing this. <laughs> and it's very expensive to pay someone else to do it, like a mechanic, like Darren at Darren's Garage. I'm sure he might be able to find it much quicker than me, but you know what? I wanted to keep riding the gold wing and I wanted it to be safe. I wanted turn signals. So Darren and I came up with a great idea. Run new turn signals. So I ordered uh, LED lights from Custom Dynamics. And I ordered a new switch from Amazon. And I bought wire at the local bumper to bumper. I bought uh, 14 to 18 gauge wire to reach the length of the gold wing. And we simply installed a new turn signal switch and a horn switch and then ran new wire to the new signals. And they look awesome. Let me turn this camera around and I'll show you what we did. Okay, so let's walk around the side of the bike and show you what we did for the turn signal switch. So I ordered this switch off of Amazon and it is a left right turn signal and a horn and I'm not using the light portion. Now this is obviously a temporary fix until I figure out why the uh, signals stopped working on this because they were working originally when we restored the bike but I wanted a temporary fix so I could still ride the bike safely especially at night because nobody can see your hand signals when you're driving at night so I ordered this and got it as a 7 8 inch hole because I looked on the forms and it said that the gold wing handlebars were 7 8 inch well I messed up because they're only 7 8 inch at the grips here they're one and a quarter so it didn't fit onto the handlebar so Darren being the ingenious guy he is he made me this little bracket that we screwed into two existing holes already and then we attached a piece of seven inch seven eighths inch sorry bar here to slide this on to and now it sits there perfectly and it's just left and right turn signal and horn now the only thing I have left to do with this is to clean up the wiring because this is the new wiring for the temporary switch. So I will be cleaning this all up and closing it in this kind of a shrink wrap and then we'll put the uh, covers back on again. But it works really well. So let's go around the front of the bike and you can see where I put them. So these are the custom dynamic LED lights. And I'll put all the information in the description. What I did was I took out the headlight so that I could put the wire inside. Now, when I'm done and I figure out how to fix the original turn signals, it'll simply be snipping this wire and pulling this off because it's held on with 3M sticky tape. On the rear of the bike, I ran the wires inside the trunk the only place you see a wire on the back is here and then LEDs on each side and on the back because of course the original Goldwing signals wrap around so someone on the side can see you. So running the wires from the switch, they come down 
they split to go to each side of the lights and they split to go to each side of the horn because there's dual horns down there so the wires ran underneath the stereo console under the seat and the one thing you need to remember to do something like this besides obviously hooking it up to the battery is having a flasher the flasher came with the signal switch and there's a little screw inside that you turn to the left or right to speed up or slow down how fast the lights flash. So in total, it took us about, oh, probably four or five hours to do this because we soldered all the connections and we shrink wrapped uh, and made it uh, nice and weatherproof. Now, because I decided to put the extra light on the side here, those were originally supposed to go on the trailer. So I have new lights, two more lights, sorry, coming from Fort 9, which is where I ordered the lights from, uh, through Custom Dynamics. And again, everything will be in the description. And uh, I've ordered two more to come for the trailer. And we're going to do the same thing. I'll run the wiring down the back of the bike, down underneath where it will come down here. I'll have another separate plug and then a plug on the trailer, which will go together, and then wiring that will go under the trailer and to the back, and we'll have two Custom Dynamics LED lights at the back. So let's show you what these lights look like. Turn signals from the front on the Goldwing. Rear turn signals on the Goldwing. Rear turn signals from the side on the Goldwing. And a working horn. But, uh, yeah, I think the lights turned out really, really nice. I think that um, it's a great solution, temporary solution, that gives me turn signals on the Goldwing uh, so that I can be safe until I can fix whatever the problem is that stopped the original ones from working. Now, the only reason I didn't film the whole installation process was because I wasn't sure it was going to work and I didn't want to waste time filming it all if it didn't work and of course it did so I'm just showing you the bits afterwards but it's very easy to do if anyone needs to do something like this feel free to contact me in the comments and I can walk you through exactly how we did it and as always guys if you like the content of the videos and you like the videos please consider subscribing hitting the like button hitting the notification bell YouTube will let you know when we come out with new videos. And until our next video, remember, keep that right hand cranked and the rubber side down.